Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So in this video, I'm going to be finishing up the back end of the bow tail here. I'm going to get the top welded together, um, make the side panels, weld all that together, and by the end of the video, the whole body of the car will be pretty much 90% finished. So enjoy the video. Okay, so I got this tack welded together here um, in a couple places now. And one thing I want to make sure is that um, both of these panels here just perfectly butt up against each other along this seam. And I can feel there's, it's not perfectly flat. This panel here is a little bit higher in this section. This panel is higher throughout this section here. So I have it over at the English wheel here. And I'm just going to put just a slight bit of pressure onto that seam right there and just try to roll it just enough to kind of squeeze these panels um, right together. It's, this is hardly any pressure at all um, just going right over that seam there and I can already feel that this one is pretty much perfectly flush. So I'm going to take the pressure off, go over that tack weld there, come back up, try to go right over this seam. And that already feels much better. And I can put a few more tackles on that now.
All right, so I have the two bottom pieces here of the bow tail made, and I made these two pieces pretty much the same way that I made um, the top two halves. The main difference, though, is that since I want the bottom to become flat, whereas this is kind of curved the whole way, instead of kind of wheeling throughout the entire panel, um, I left this kind of corner here um, untouched by the English wheel, so you can see that this kind of stays flat and then curves whereas this is curved all the way through. And now what I have to do is weld them together just like you see up here, except underneath. So what I did was I got some strings here and just tied some little weights on the bottom so that that can transfer this contour um, further down. And as I make these panels, I can just kind of slip them under here and see that it lines up with all of those strings to know that it has the same contour as the top so that the side piece will be um, pretty much vertical like that. All right, so I've got this kind of set up here now. Have the top piece that's all welded together sitting on top there. Have the bottom um, resting under here. And one of the side panels um, kind of fit into place over there. And what I did was I cut out a big window here in the wooden buck so that I can actually see into where those panels meet up. And I can see that that seam is really, really close. And I can now use this extra space in here to take a sharpie mark of where to trim that panel so that the side fits in perfectly with the top and the bottom. And then I'll do the same thing over here.
Alright, so I've got the boat tail here set on the frame now and you can really see uh, what the car is going to look like now. And I really like the proportions. I think this turned out very nicely. This was definitely the most daunting part of making the body because um, there's a lot of compound curves here and it's a, definitely a challenge to get all these panels to fit together just right and have it be nice and symmetrical. But I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and I really love the look of these few lures that I stamped in the back here a lot of the speedsters you can see here like on these old Bugattis they had those louvers stamped in the back of the boat tail there and that's just to let any air out that might get trapped in the point back there and I just really love that little detail I think that really brings it all together but the next step for this will be to make some sort of inner structure to stiffen it up because this is one really big piece now so I want it to be nice and solid and then I'll make some sort of setup to bolt it down to the frame, probably similar to how I did up here. I'll just continue this rivet line back there and have it be bolted right down. And then probably up here I'll do something like some sort of rigid hoop that will be nice and sturdy um, behind where the seat will be. So anyways, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.